Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you how I use my Ga Sha tool to really help with that jaw, snatched jaw and lifting up the neck. We're then going to finish off the all important lymphatic drainage release. Now, first things first, I like to start off with clean skin and I am using here a facial oil. If you have a face cream, that's great, or even better, a neck cream, uh, just so we're not compromising the skin by dragging and pulling at it. Now, the skin around the neck is extremely delicate and fine, so we don't need to be too heavy handed. So just first of all, applying to the facial neck area from the collarbone all the way along and also the jawline above and under. So I'm going to take my tool here and I'm taking the part which is almost like a bow shape, place my hand as an anchor and I'm starting from the collarbone all the way up towards the neck, along the neck towards the chin, sorry. Now this is a very light, delicate touch and I personally like to use my Garsha tool flat as you get more surface area. Um, obviously personal preference and I like to use it nice and slow and mindful all the way to the ear and then on the other side and I always find I kind of want to swallow when I'm doing this because you can feel literally things moving around and then once we've done that we're taking the parts here again and I'm starting from the middle from the bottom bottom part to the collarbone from the middle and gliding now all along up to that SCM muscle and I like to give it a little wiggle at the end and slowly glide working our way upwards heading all along the neck up to the jawline and then the back of the ear and then on the other side so again, the bottom part onto the jawline, sorry, onto the collarbone, placing fingers as an anchor, nice and flat, and just gently gliding all the way along. Now, if your neck goes a tiny bit pinky, that's fine. That's just blood flow coming to the surface of the area. But say so I like to use this nice and light and mindful. To that SEM muscle. So now using the parts here, which is like the top part, placing the hand as an anchor, and I'm just very gently gliding along now under the jawline towards the ears. And when I get to the ears, I like to give the Garsha tool a slight wiggle. Now, the Garsha tool I'm using is a jade one, they do come in various types of materials. I personally like to use a natural stone. So I do have a jade and also a rose quartz. And if you don't have one, I will leave a link in the description box down below. And then let's work on the top part of the jawline. So I'm taking again the part at the top, placing hand as an anchor and work in this part. So the middle part is the middle of the jawline just gently glide. Now you can do this once or twice a week or maybe even once a, once a day. It obviously depends how much time you have. It's just a very nice gentle relaxing massage. I personally like to do this in the evening so I do find it tends to calm the nervous system down. I'm working all the way along. And then on the longer parts here, from the chin, gliding lower parts of the face towards the ears. And then just give it another massage out. And then on the other side. And one last time. So once we've used our Garsha tool on our neck and also our jawline, we're then going to just use it 
Around the ears, where we have plenty of lymph nodes here, we've used the lymph, we've moved lymph nodes under the jawline, so now we need to move from the ears and down the big SEM muscle to the collarbone. So I'm taking the part, the top part, if you like, which is like the love heart shape, and I'm just placing it in front of the ear from the top and gliding in a downwards motion from the front of the ear. And then you want to work it from the back of the ear as well where we have plenty of lymph nodes. And then with the tool, which is the top of the bow, I like to glide this nice and flat down the big SEM muscle, down to the collarbone. Working all down that muscle, nice lightly. So again, the top part of the Garsha tool here. So again, placing hand as an anchor if you like, and just gently glide down in front of the ear and then also the back of the ear where those lymph nodes are and then with the long parts here from the ear all the way down the SEM muscle down to the collarbone And then once we've done that, from our chin all the way down where our collarbone is, just above we have some indentations. And if you can just give those a few gentle presses, this will release all the toxins and waste we've moved within the neck and the jawline area into the body ready for elimination. So I will place another video if you'd like to join me there. And please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed for more content I upload daily and a thumbs up and comment down below tell me where you're from and if there's any other massage exercises you'd like me to share with you and i look forward to seeing you in the next one okay bye